Prior to the installation, the installer should verify the thermostat wiring in the wall. The Dakin NV thermostat uses standard four wire thermostat to connect the DPCA to the thermostat. You will see from the chart, the larger the gauge wire, you will provide a greater distance. So for example, 18 gauge thermostat wire will give you up to 1250 feet, whereas 22 gauge wire, you have a maximum of 500 feet. Okay, let's start with the installation procedure. There are six steps to installing the Dakin NV thermostat. I will cover these steps in more detail in the following slides, but let's start with the basics. Step one, power off the Dakin indoor unit. Step two, position and wire the DPCA. Step three, install the Dakin NV thermostat. Step four, connect the thermostat wiring. Step five, mount the DPCA. And finally, step six, power on the Dakin indoor unit. Now moving into more detail, we'll start with step one, disconnect the power to the indoor unit. Step two, the DPCA provides an interface between the thermostat and the indoor unit. To install the DPCA, first position the DPA in a suitable location away from water near the indoor unit, for example, the backside cavity of the wall mounted unit. Connect the DPCA power cables as illustrated to the indoor unit power supply terminals. Ensure that electrical connections are securely tightened. Remove the DPCA cover by grasping both sides and pulling along the length of the DPCA. Using the wiring harness, connect the P2 terminal on the DPCA to the S1 terminal on the indoor unit's main PCB. You should refer to the Dakin System Installation Manual for information about accessing the S21 terminal. Step 3. Installing the Dakin NV thermostat. Always look at the location where you will be mounting the thermostat. Do not install the thermostat, for example, close to sources of heat such as incandescent lights or in direct sunlight. If you are replacing the existing thermostat, start by removing the existing thermostat. Gently separate the backplate from the thermostat faceplate. Make sure the existing wires can be inserted through the opening for the wiring. If the back plate does not adequately cover the area of the previous thermostat, attach the trim plate to the back plate for increased coverage. Using the back plate as a template and a level, mark the location of the mounting holes. Move the back plate away from the wall and make the holes to accommodate the included drywall anchors. And finally, fasten the back plate and the optional trim plate to the wall using the provided number six pan head screws. Before we move on to step four, let's familiarize ourselves with the thermostat terminal connections. D plus and D minus are used for data communication only. Do not reverse these wires. C and R is where the thermostat receives its 24 volts from the DPCA. Aux and OXR can be used if there is an auxiliary heat source. This is a normally open relay and does not share power with the R and C terminals. Step 4. Connect the thermostat wiring. Using the standard thermostat wire, connect the wires as illustrated. Give the wires a gentle tug to ensure all wiring connections are secure. Attach the Dakin NV thermostat to the thermostat backplate. Ensure that the pins on the thermostat align with the terminal block on the backplate. Step 5. Secure the DPCA. After the wiring connections are complete, mount the DPCA using the adhesive sticker or the mounting screws as needed. Step 6. Power on the Dakin indoor unit. After you power on the indoor unit, verify the green LED on the DPCA has illuminated. Upon verification, reattach the DPCA cover. Use the wire ties to secure any wires as needed. Here is a summary of the wiring schematic from the indoor unit to the DPCA module, including the connections to the NV thermostat. The DPCA comes equipped with a attached power cable designed to connect directly to the indoor unit terminal block. The supplied wire and harness connects P2 
of the DPCA to S21 connector on the main PCB of the indoor unit. As a recap, the DPCEA can be installed in the backside cavity of the wall mounted indoor unit, if space allows, and beside the ducted indoor unit. And finally, the NV thermostat will connect to P1 of the DPCEA using standard thermostat wire. This diagram illustrates align voltage connections from the electrical panel to the outdoor unit, from the outdoor unit to the indoor unit including the DPCA. This is for 208, 240 volt single phase applications only. Here is the same diagram with a condensate pump added in. The Aspen pump is rated for 240 volts and will connect in line with the indoor unit terminals. The pump includes a safety circuit that will shut down the AC in the event of a pump failure. Please refer to the Aspen pump installation manual for detailed instructions.